take it from here. Okay. So the big question on everyone's minds is, will we ever get to see Men in Black 5 on the big screen? You know that sci-fi series all about secret agents protecting Earth from aliens? Which puts a cool twist on the classic buddy cop setup by throwing aliens into the mix. And let's admit it, the idea of more sequels exploring new alien baddies is pretty exciting. But here's the thing, there are a couple of obstacles standing in the way of Men in Black 5. First off, it's been a while since we last had a mainline installment in the series. And then there's the whole Will Smith situation. He's been involved in some controversy lately, which could have an impact on the franchise's future. Now remember the last movie, Men in Black International? Yeah, critics weren't exactly singing its praises, and it didn't exactly break records at the box office, pulling in just over $253 million worldwide. Sure, that's not a small amount, but for a big-budget franchise like this, it's not exactly setting the world on fire. Well, we're on the right track. Just the wrong train. If you had any secrets, I'm guessing he spilled them. Smart man would figure out what your victims have in common. Smart man would. Still, given the massive popularity of the Men in Black brand, it's pretty much guaranteed that they'll cook up a Men in Black 5 at some point. But the big question remains, is it officially confirmed, and when can we expect from the plot? That's what's keeping everyone on the edge of their seats. Now, word on the street is that Men in Black 5 is apparently in the works over at Sony, according to some sources like Giant Freakin' Robot. But here's the thing, Sony hasn't officially confirmed it yet. Still, if there's one thing we know about Sony, it's that they love expanding their franchises. Just look at what they did with Ghostbusters, Frozen Empire, and their Marvel Comics flicks. While we're still waiting for that official announcement about a new Men in Black movie, let's be real here. It's bound to happen sooner or later. Sony doesn't just let a popular universe like that collect dust on the shelf. Here's a fun little tidbit. Remember back in 2014 when Sony got hacked? Yeah, those hackers spilled the beans about this wild idea for a crossover flick between Men in Black and 21 Jump Street. Picture this. Jonah Hill and Channing Tatum's undercover cop characters team up with the MIB to stop an alien invasion. Sounds pretty epic, right? Well, they even had Rodney Rothman, one of the brains behind 22 Jump Street, working on a script for it. But sadly, it never saw the light of day. Hill and Tatum got busy with other gigs, and let's face it, Trying to coordinate their schedules with the big-name stars from the Men in Black series would have been a logistical nightmare. Chris Hemsworth and Tessa Thompson have undoubtedly formed a dynamic duo, showcasing their chemistry in films like Thor Ragnarok and Avengers Endgame within the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Given their successful collaboration, it's hard not to imagine them reprising their roles for another round in the Men in Black universe. However, when it comes to the business side of things, it's a bit more complex. Publicly available information regarding their contractual obligations for potential sequels is scarce. It's unclear whether Hemsworth and Thompson are contractually bound to return for future Men in Black installments, or if their involvement would depend on renegotiations. So while fans might be eager to see them don the iconic black suits once again, the specifics of their return hinge on various factors, including contractual agreements and negotiations behind the scenes. On the flip side, both Will Smith and Tommy Lee Jones have expressed openness to the idea of returning for a fourth Men in Black film. Jones even mentioned how it would be a breeze to jump back into their roles, emphasizing the fun they have working together. Columbia's chief executive, Doug Belgrad, echoed this sentiment in 2012, affirming the franchise's ongoing potential while acknowledging the need for clarity on its direction. Director Barry Sonnenfeld jokingly teased about replacing Will Smith with his son Jaden, for future installments, citing Will's energy as both smart and occasionally overwhelming. However, Will Smith himself humorously noted that Jaden was at a mythological age where he's ready to challenge his father but isn't quite ready to step into his movie roles just yet. Meanwhile, back in 2013, Oren Uziel was reportedly working on a screenplay for a potential Men in Black 4 under Sony Pictures. However, by September 2015, Series producers Walter Parks and Laurie McDonald announced plans for a trilogy reboot, signaling a departure from the original storyline and potentially sidelining the involvement of Will Smith and Tommy Lee Jones. There's a chance that even if we don't get a direct sequel to Men in Black International, the franchise could take another route by delivering a soft reboot or a legacy quill. We've already seen both approaches with International and Men in Black 3, 
proving that the series can reinvent itself and bounce back even after a lengthy hiatus. Given the potential challenges at the box office for Men in Black 4, it might make sense to bring back Will Smith, a familiar face that fans love. The Men in Black may go quiet for a while, but never underestimate their ability to make a comeback. While Men in Black International wraps up its story without directly setting up a fifth film, leaving the characters in a pretty standard status quo, the potential for Men in Black 5 remains intriguing. International works as a complete standalone story, but so did the original 1997 Men in Black film, which ended up spawning a successful franchise. So we can't rule out the possibility of another sequel. On the flip side, though there's no official plot synopsis for Men in Black 5 yet, the franchise has plenty of mind-bending sci-fi concepts from previous movies that a new sequel could explore. A new installment could use the time travel introduced in Men in Black 3 to venture into the future or revisit the trippy idea from Men in Black 2 that our entire universe exists in a locker at a gigantic alien train station. Alternatively, Men in Black 5 might stick to the tried-and-true formula by introducing a new alien menace that the MIB team needs to thwart. The franchise has a history of reinventing itself, so the possibilities are wide open. With that being said, Men in Black 5 could potentially revisit some fan-favorite characters from the franchise's past. One such character is Jeff the Worm from Men in Black 2. Jeff is a colossal worm-like alien residing in New York's subway system. Despite his daunting size and fearsome appearance, Jeff exhibits a surprisingly friendly demeanor, especially in his interactions with Agent K. This juxtaposition of his intimidating presence with a benign nature provides unique comic relief in the sequel. Jeff's involvement in a dynamic subway chase scene showcases the franchise's ability to seamlessly combine elements of humor and action. Another standout character is the Balchinian, introduced in Men in Black 2. The Balchinian is memorable for its humorous and distinctive anatomical feature, a set of testicles on its chin. This character exemplifies the franchise's penchant for creating uniquely designed aliens that blend bizarre features with a touch of humor. Despite limited screen time, the Balchinian's brief appearance leaves a significant comedic impact, showcasing the series' ability to infuse playful absurdity into the sci-fi genre. Lastly, Pawnee from Men in Black International stands out as a fan favorite. Voiced by Kumail Nanjiani, Pawnee is a small, chess piece-like alien with quick wit and a big heart. His character adds a unique blend of humor and emotional depth to the narrative. Pawnee's loyalty to the MIB agents and his humorous yet poignant one-liners create a memorable dynamic within the film. This endearing character not only provides comedic relief, but also serves as an emotional anchor, showcasing the franchise's ability to evolve by introducing lovable and multi-dimensional alien characters. Revisiting these beloved characters in Men in Black 5 could provide a delightful mix of nostalgia and fresh storytelling, continuing the franchise's tradition of combining humor, action, and heart. And that's a wrap for today's video. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll catch you in the next one. Don't forget to drop your suggestions for future videos in the comments below. See you soon! Okay.